ورحمه الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان محمد رسول الله اشهد ان محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاة حي على الفلاة أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئة أعمالنا من يعد الله هو المهتد ومن يدل الله فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أنصار سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى سرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله أقوى تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون أما بعد We give thanks to all may tell Allah we praise him We show our God to him May the peace and the blessing of all may tell Allah upon our noble Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family and his companion to the day of judgment, inshallah. My brother and sister in Islam, all may tell Allah always remind me and you in every single Friday saying, Oh, you who believe, fear Allah we are, wherever you are. Be cautious of your Lord. And do not return to me except you die in state of Islam. Inshallah, today's khutbah is about the remaining 10 days of month of Ramadan. We want to remind ourselves about that, what we need to do is very important because this is the time that Almighty Allah specifically mentioned in Al-Quran Al-Azim for us 
by saying بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن أنزلنا في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف الشهر صدق الله العظيم All means Allah let us know in the Quran العظيم all means that this particular ten nines, we Allah will reveal Al Quran Al Azim to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Your miracle. This is the time. This is the time that we send Al Quran Al Azim to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a rahmah. As a mercy for you, the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in the month of bliss. In Anzal now feel a little kudin. Then Almighty Allah says for them that wa ma adraq ma laylatul kudin. Allah want to tell us the secret inside there. Then Almighty Allah said to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That what will make you know that night out is so important. Allah want to test the secret to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Then all may tell Allah say, "Laylatul Qadr khairun min alfi shah." Allah wa akbar. All may tell Allah say, "Don't you know?" That that particular night, that particular night, if Almighty Allah let you get the bless of that particular night, is better than eighty-three years on this earth. Look at that. It's a blessing from Almighty Allah. From Almighty Allah, because Allah knew that. It's very hard for the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to spend that years on this earth. See how we are spending. It's not like before. In the olden days, you will hear that two hundred and something years, five hundred years. But it's very hard to see something like that today, which is all made Allah knew what is gonna happen in the future for us. But all made Allah love the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, so that we can be able to compete with the all the people, pioneers people, in the time of Musa, in the time of Noah. In the time of Salih and so on, because of the love that Allah has for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, within short period, Allah want to give us free. So all may tell Allah say, "Khairum min halfi shahar." All may tell Allah told us in Al Quran Al Azim. So as we all know that. That this is the time. So what we need to do in order to cash that blessing, that opportunity, we all know that when we went in order to race on the track, what we do at the end, towards end, if we want to get the gold medal. Definitely, we put more strength, more power in our running because we want to be first. This is exactly what we need to do at this time, more than before, more than the beginning. Our Quran has to be increased. Our Quran has to be increased, even more generous than before. This is the time. Everything. That we know that we can do in order to catch the high rank before Almighty Allah, we have to do 
within this short period. This is what all me tell I want us to do. Because this is a blessing. This is the opportunity. And there are many opportunities in there. Look at the Quran. If you increase your Quran than before. Once you say, by the house of Allah, in the name of Allah, in the name of Allah, Alif Lam Mim Zalik Al Kitab La Raib Fi Uda Lil Mutakin. Once you say that, in other months, when you say Alif Lam Mim, that's three alphabet. Allah is gonna give you. For Alif, 10% reward. 10 reward. Lamb, the same thing. Mim, the same thing. So you get 30. But in this particular man, more increase than that. Allah wa Akbar. Allah will give you more. In this particular man. And he gave all made Allah bless you. You spend from what all metal has given to you as Prophet Muhammad used to, to, to do because Angel Jibreel said that in the month of Ramadan whenever I met Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more generous than other men Allah wa Akbar This is the Prophet of Allah So if all mate Allah bless you Man fattara sahima kana lahu misla ajri if all made Allah bless you, you fed fasting one will be getting similar reward. You see, it's like your reward double before all made Allah. You're gonna get this the reward of those who fed at the same time, you're gonna get yours. Look at how all made Allah is spreading his blessing upon me and you if we can do that as all made Allah wants. And this is the time that you see Muslim from one place to another moving, most especially to Masjid al-Haram, Mecca, Medina for Umrah. What do they do there? They went there in order to connect them to Almighty Allah. Oh Allah, give us this dunya and akhirah at the same time. Because all may tell Allah, hold you all to ask him for that. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fi la akhirati hasanatan. Then, wa kidna adab al-nar. Allah wants us to ask both. To ask both. So this is what they need to, to do over there. Okay, what of us that we are in our country? If all may Allah bless you, go and do eighty calf as you can do. Maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five, maybe six, maybe seven, maybe eight, maybe nine. Do as you can for the sake of all may Allah. Because you never know. You never know. This is what all may Allah wants us to do. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when we are talking about etika, does Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam formulate it by himself? No. All means Allah wants him to engage on that. Allah mentioned that in the Quran al Azim. Day one, that all means Allah shoots Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I want to choose you as my messenger. And started revealing Al Quran and Azim for Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. After Iqra, then all made Allah send this surah, Surah Al Muzammil. See, Ya Ayyu Al Muzammil, Kum Layla, Illa Qalila, Nisfahun Kusminu O Qalila, Auzid. Alayhi wa ratil al-Qur'an taritila. 
All Beit Allah said to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam directly, here, this assignment that I want to give it to you. Ya ayyu al-muzimmi, all Beit Allah, all you who folded in, in, in garments, all me, because when all, when all Beit Allah sent the angel to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ran home, and he said to his wife Khadija that, oh, Please, I'm seeing something strange. So cover me with the garment. Then Allah literally called him by name what he said. That's Ya Ayu Al Muzammi. Come Layla. Illa Kalila. Wake up in the middle of night. Wake up in the night. Illa Kalila. Except Liru. It is time for you. It is time for you. Do as much as you can. Then while you are doing that, then my message, which is Al-Quran Al-Azim, Waratil Al-Quran Tartila. Make sure that you are reciting it with your nawafil. Reciting it with good tone. Because you are talking to Almighty Allah. You are speaking with your Lord. وَرَتِّلُ قُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلَ All Mithala has given that assignment to Prophet Muhammad So this is what we are doing as an itikaf. Not just we are going there and relax. No. We call it all Mithala Allah with Al-Quran Al-Adim with any other one to glorify all Mithala which I will speak about that later. Then all made Allah, you see, in, in many cases, although when we say that Qiyamun Layl, to stand up in the middle of night in order to call all made Allah, as the surah that I just mentioned, the verse that I just mentioned, Ya Ayyuh Al-Muzami, Kumi Layla, Illa Quli, that's Qiyamun Layl. And there's another one, a tahajjud. This tahajjud is something that you will force yourself, put in, in your mind to do in the middle of the night. That's a little different. A tahajjud means that you wake up in the bed for that because when it is talking to, about the kiyamule, kiyamule starts from after Isha and before Subur, you see, more longer. But Tahajud, maybe you sleep, then in the mirror, you force yourself. I want to talk to all my Allah. I want to connect myself to all my Allah. That's the reason why all my Allah little differentiated. When all my Allah say in Surah Al Isra, Wamina Layli Tahajud be enough. Asa an yaba'athaka rabbuka maqaman mahmuda. All my tell us to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you do that, and your nation, your humma, do the same thing with you, then all my tell us say, do you know that that option, an additional option that you want to do, that means that the prayer, at tahajud, all my intellects say, wa minna layfa tahajud bi nafilat asa an yabu asaka rabbuka maqawma mahamuda. That's when we drive you to a station and praise and glory before all my intellects on the day of resurrection. Because on yawm al qiyamah, remember, all my intellects will give Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that priority to help, to intercede some of the believers on that, on that day. So all Almighty Allah wants us to do the same thing. So that in the future, we'll be able to be happy. So that's what we have to do at this moment around. In fact, all Almighty Allah says in another surah, in Al-Quran, in Al-Surah Al-Sajidah, all men tell us, Tatajaffa junubuhum anil limadaj yedi'oon rabban khawfan watama wa mimma razaqinahum yunfiqun. 
Only me tell her if I, for those who want to make the hajjud the same thing. That the Jaffa, you know them, those who forsake their beds when they sleep, they forsake it. They say, oh, it is time for me to talk with Almighty Allah. So that tells us that how Almighty Allah recognized the ithikaf, most especially in this time around. This was assignment that Muhammad used to do. That's part that Almighty Allah say, I forgive you, Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's clear in our Quran al Azim in Surah Al Fati. Almighty Allah says, Inna fatahana laka fatam mubina, liyagfira laka Allahu ma taqaddama min zambik wa ma taqha. Almighty Allah said to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam clearly that I forgive you your sin. Ma taqaddama, the one that you have done in the future, wa ma taqha. And the one that you have already committed means that you are sinless. And I said to Prophet Sallallahu But still, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will still make this nawafil during his life to the answer that Aisha, the wife of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said to, to, to him, Oh, my husband, the message of Allah, why are you so worrying yourself like this? Now I feel from time to time, look at your feet. Your feet is so sweet. Sweating. Then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, Ha, afala akuna and habuda shakura. Would I not be grateful to Almighty Allah with this blessing? Imagine. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi did that. Why? Why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Remember, all may tell us that he forgave Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did that because of me and you. On Yom al Qiyamah, look at the love that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam developed with us. Look at that. In fact, in another time, Umuna Aisha, the wife of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Oh, Aisha, pray for me. I mean, Aisha said to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Pray for me, pray for me, Ya Rasulullah. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Pray for Aisha, saying, May Almighty Allah forgive you your presence secretly and publicly. Then, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked her, Are you satisfied with that prayer? You say, Yes. To the extent that our mother, beloved Aisha, rested ashikd to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu because of that dua. Then Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I swear by Almighty Allah, this prayer I used to pray for all of my ummah, every single prayer. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam doesn't know you. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam doesn't know me. But because of love, he used to make deep prayer for us. Oh Allah, forgive my ummah. Let me ask you, I mean, how many times we do sell our blessing to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Do we? Do we? And this is the time. Let's add it more into our prayer. And don't let us forget the prayer that Aisha again got from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at this moment. Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbu la afwa fa'afu anni o fa'afu anna. Don't let us forget it continuously. Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbu la afwa fa'afu anni. This is, this is what Almighty Allah wants us to do. This is what Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wants us to add more. Then in the regime of Sayyidina O Umar radiallahu anhu. Yes, another one so that we can add it to our dua. 
the gym of Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu Sayyidina Usman sat at the mosque and Abi Waqqas entered and made salam to Sayyidina Usman and the mosque but Sayyidina Usman doesn't respond he did not reply to the extent that Abi Waqqas Saad bin Abi Waqqas said What's going on in this life today? Why Muslim make salama to Muslim? But Muslim does not reply. So instead, he went to Sayyidina Umar in order to report. When he got to Sayyidina Umar, he explained everything to Sayyidina Umar. Then Sayyidina Umar said, ah, but it's strange. Okay, let's go and call Sayyidina Usman. So when Usman came, then they see that what's going on? Said Bun Abi Wakos, the son of Abi Wakos, see, make salam to you, but you did not. Then they say, you know, Usman see, maybe I heard that or not. I'm not sure, but I was thinking about one important thing at that moment. Then say no man say what's 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 going on? Tell us. You see, I remember that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam want to give us one important dua because in the life of Prophet, you remember Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi already passed away at this moment. Right? You see, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was about to give us the dua. You see, I just want to give you the dua that whenever you make it. Allah will accept your dua. So, by the time that you want to say it again, to mention the dua, an Arab man just enter. So, Prophet Sallallahu did not be able to tell them. This is what Sayyidina Osman was thinking. So now, Sad, when Abi Waqas immediately say, oh, you mean the dua that Prophet Sallallahu want to give on this? So, so, so they say, yes. This is what I was thinking. Then you see, I knew it. Because at that moment, I only, I follow Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to his house with that Arab. Then I ask Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi what's the dua that you want to give him? Now Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa told me. So that's why he gets this dua. He said, the dua of Sayyidina Yunus when all men Allah say in Al Quran Al Azim was a known is Zahab Mugadiba, Fazun An Kdira Ali, Fanada Vizulumati Al La Ila Ila Anta Subhanaka Inni Kuntumina Zolimin. It's powerful dua. La Ila Ila Anta Subhanaka. Inni kuntu mina zalimi. La ila illa anta. Subhanaka. Inni kuntu mina zalimi. This dua that all men tell I used to save Sayyidina Yunus alayhi salatu when he was the problem, when he faced the challenge, depression in the darkness of the water, in the darkness of the fish, all men tell I finally saved him. So ask all men tell to save you from your problem in this life, from your problem in Yom al Akhira. La ila illa hant subhanaka inni kuntu mina zalmi. There is no God but you, glory to you. I was wrong to myself. I was indeed wrong to myself. My brother and sister in Islam, this opportunity for me and you. This is what all men tell want us to get. And may all men tell make it easy for us. Rabbana zalamna anfusena wa illam tayfuri lana wa tahamna lana kunanna minal khasirin wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah, 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 rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salam. Al-Ashraf al-Mursi'in Sina Muhammad 
wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Allahumma ighfir lana wa hamna wa arda anna wa afina wa afwana ya rabbal alamin rabbana ablana min azwajina wa suriyatina qurrata a'yun wa jannah al-muttaqin imam Allahumma taqabbal siyamana wa qiyamana wa ruku'ana wa sujudana ya rabbal alamin rabbana fuga alina sabr wa sabbit aqdamana wa ansurna ala al-qawm al-kafirin ibad Allah ina la yamuna bil-adl wal-hisa wa ita'iz al-qurba وَيَنْهَى عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ وَالْمُنْكَرِ بِهِ إِذُكُمْ لَعَلَكُمْ تَذَكَّرُونَ وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ